Hello everyone. My name is Jawad Ahmed and I am a PhD student at Mid Sweden University in Sweden. Today I'm going to share my work with the title Stretchable Pressure Sensor Using Thermoplastic Polyurethane and Conductive Inks. Flexible and stretchable electronics is getting popularity in recent years. Many consumer products have emerged that can display health-related information obtained from different sensors. In health informatics, sensors play a vital role. Pressure sensors can measure pressure of a sitting or lying person and provide the information regarding the behavior of sitting in a chair or lying in a bed. A stretchable sensor has a potential to deform into arbitrary shapes according to the movement of human body for the unobtrusive measurements and monitoring of vital indicators. Variables that comprise stretchable sensors have been researched recently. In this work, we investigate an approach of making pressure sensor that is highly flexible and stretchable using thermoplastic polyurethane as substrate and stretchable inks as the functional materials. We employ screen printing for the fabrication process. One of the purposes is to utilize stretchable pressure sensor inside a seat cushion of a wheelchair where the surface can be non-uniform and around 10 to 20% stretching may be required due to movements of the seated person. The design of the sensor consists of two printed layers of TPU sheets and a buffer layer of nanogel adhesive. TPU sheets are 80 micrometers thick, while the nanogel adhesive is 450 micrometers thick. The overall thickness of the proposed pressure sensor is 600 micrometers. The electrode layer is printed using silver-based ink, and the sensing layer is printed using a blend of piezoresistive carbon inks. The characterization is carried out to investigate the behavior of pressure sensor under the application of force. The resistance with respect to application of force is shown in figure two, and it is realized by using a commercial dynamometer. The resistance is logged using a multimeter. One set of readings is taken before the elongation cycles and the other just after the elongation cycles. Similarly, sensor drift has also been investigated to test the drift. A 500 gram force is applied and the resistance is logged for 90 minutes. The readings are taken 30 seconds after the application of force. Figure 4a shows printed and thermally cured electrode layer, while figure 4b shows sensing layer. The assembly of the sensor is shown in figure 4c. To get ease in testing, a double-sided copper tape is attached to the electrodes of the assembled pressure sensor. The results have indicated a good mechanical and electrical stability while retaining pressure sensing properties even after 100 elongation cycles. <laughs> 